Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition. This is for Wednesday, April 8th, 2020. I'm James Spann. Got some very active weather in the days ahead. A chance of strong storms this afternoon. A chance of severe storms early tomorrow morning. Another chance of severe storms on Easter Sunday. So a lot to talk about. Let's dive in. Upper air look across the country. First feature you notice is that big upper low that's been out there for days hovering uh, near California. I think it's just west of San Diego, and that's the one that might produce the severe weather on Easter Sunday here. Then a northern branch system, and that's going to be pushing a cold front through here early tomorrow morning, and that will bring a chance of severe storms. Now, this morning, just a patchy light rain, a few scattered showers on the eastern side of the state. That was the radar at 448. We'll see a few scattered storms later today, and those could be pretty strong this afternoon where they form. We are in the 60s to start the day. Highs will be in the low 80s in most spots this afternoon. There's the watch warning map. Flash flood watches for parts of California. Wind advisories up north. And a winter storm watch for parts of Maine. Must be April. Look at that. Severe weather outlook. Now keep in mind this runs through 7 a.m. tomorrow. An enhanced risk. Level 3 out of 5. For much of Tennessee. Parts of western Kentucky up to St. Louis. In Evansville, this is the probabilistic outlook for tornadoes within that enhanced risk of 5% chance of any one spot getting a tornado, but the higher threat's going to be from damaging straight-line wind. This is the chance of that in that enhanced risk, and that's 30%. 30% chance of damaging wind within 25 miles of a given point early tomorrow morning. Here's the Alabama situation. That enhanced risk does include extreme north Alabama, the Shoals, Athens, Huntsville, and again, that's level three out of five. The standard risk, level two out of five, down to Dixon's Mills and Fort Deposit and Eufaula. And then a marginal risk all the way down to places like Andalusia and Dothan, the darker green. And again, this is mainly for what happens early tomorrow morning. And much more about this in a moment. This is tomorrow, marginal risk to the east, standard slight risk over parts of South Texas. Friday, a marginal risk over parts of West Texas. This is Saturday, day four. Much of Texas, Louisiana, and Easter Sunday. A risk of severe thunderstorms across the deep south, including much of Alabama. And more about this in a minute. Here's the rain for the next seven days. Pretty wet down here where the wettest part of the country amounts about three to four inches for much of the state over the next seven days. So let's get into modeling here. This is the GFS. This is the OZ run, valid at 4 o'clock this afternoon. You can see the northern branch system coming down from Canada. That'll push that cold front through here early tomorrow morning. And the upper low near San Diego, that's our Easter Sunday storm. Now, during the day today, it's going to be warm with low 80s, and the air becomes unstable. And we'll see some scattered storms firing. This is 3 o'clock this afternoon. This is suggesting strong storms through central Alabama, scattered storms and kind of random uh, and where they form, they might produce hail and strong winds. This is the instability this afternoon. Now, there's a donut hole because that's where it's going to be raining at that point, but instability values will be in excess of 2,000 joules per kilogram for much of the state and some really robust numbers back over uh, Arkansas, the Arklatex region. But here comes the activity with the front. This is 1 a.m., storms entering northwest Alabama. And the, the main threat here is going to be from strong straight-line winds, but there could be where we have breaks or kinks in that line, a couple of isolated tornadoes. This is the instability uh, just after midnight, and again, the numbers are in excess of 1,000 joules per kilogram, and we have seen other runs that show higher values in the middle of the night. This is the SRH, the storm relative helicity values. Those certainly support a few rotating updrafts in the STP numbers in Alabama, one to four units, and certainly severe storms are going to be a possibility after midnight tonight, middle of the night. This is 3 a.m., Storms coming through Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, and Gadsden. So this is the timing we have uh, for northwest Alabama, midnight to 3. That would include uh, Decatur and Haleyville and Hamilton. Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, Anniston, Gadsden, 2 to 5 a.m. And then Montgomery, Auburn, Opelika, Alexander City, Greenville, 4 to 7 a.m. 
and uh, middle of the night. So if you watch these videos, you're a weather weenie. We know that you've got a weather radio and you've got ways of getting the warnings, but help us tell your friends that this is a possibility and they need to have their weather radio on and properly programmed. And uh, if nothing else, be sure their wireless emergency alerts are enabled on their phone and uh, don't have that thing in the silent mode tonight. Now, during the day tomorrow, the sky becomes sunny. It will be cooler, highs 70 to 74, a fresh northwest wind. Friday, we're going to start the day probably down around 40 in the high Friday, only in the middle 60s, a very cool day for April. This is Saturday, Saturday morning. Uh, we could see a little frost in some of the colder pockets, probably not a lot, but a little bit. We'll be in the 36 to 44 range. During the day, the high will be around 70. Uh, the day will be dry, partly sunny. Clouds will increase Saturday night. And boom, here comes our Easter system. Uh, the GFS depicting a surface low near St. Louis. We're in the warm sector. This is the European. It's different. It's got the surface low north of Shreveport. Still, we're in the warm sector. This is the Cape on Sunday. The instability in all of the deep south is in unstable air. And this is the uh, flash rate coming off the uh, European Sunday at 4. Uh, suggesting storms might be blowing through here during the peak of the daytime heating process. So understand there is no way we can be specific about the threat on Easter Sunday. We've got to get through the storms early tomorrow morning, then we focus on Sunday. But uh, considering the climatology, the dynamic setup, uh, this could be a, a situation where all modes of severe weather are possible. Uh, large hail, damaging wind, a few tornadoes. We don't say this to scare anybody, just to alert you that Sunday is going to be an active day. Now, Monday, that thing is on by. We're dry. Uh, the high Monday will drop into the 60s, and the sky will be clearing. And this is Tuesday. That's some pretty cool air coming in here. We might stay in the 50s all day. Uh, partly sunny. Look at the anomalies on Tuesday. That's a very cold look for the eastern two-thirds of the country. And then uh, a week from today, again, broad troughing over the east and a very cool, dry air mass. We could easily, easily do a freeze or frost on one or two mornings toward the middle of next week. Let's go out 10 days. This is Friday the 17th. Heights are coming up a little bit, and that looks dry and quiet. Look at the snow for Chicago and Indianapolis, if, if this verifies. This is the uh, rain for Birmingham off the European Ensemble. The mean, about 4 inches for the next 15 days. These numbers coming off the national blend of models, but again, let's look at the uh, GFS Ensemble, which probably has a better grip on the numbers. It's got 39 for Birmingham Saturday, and again, those colder valleys north of Birmingham could see some frost, but look at the mid-30s, Thursday and Friday morning of next week, and that's when uh, the colder spots could easily see a freeze, and we could see more widespread frost, and this is the CPC outlook for the 15th through the 21st, those deep blue colors suggesting uh, much colder than average over the eastern two-thirds of the country. Growers, beware. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.